Hello. Hello. Welcome, people. You have made it. You've made it to the chat. Welcome. Hey, welcome, first time listener for the stream. So, this is basically the Saturday show where Tuesdays and Thursdays are games. Saturday is a late night reading of the blogs. Well, technically, it's 12 in the afternoon for me, but it's okay. It counts. It counts. Okay. So, pause the music for a second. Uh, hello, everybody. For first time viewers, welcome to Late Night Temper Post live this is the second attempt at doing this kind of have a better thought process for it so basically it's gonna be like maybe an hour an hour of me reading the best of tumblr submitted by my lovelies at the discord server so buckle up here we go put, put the music back on turn the music up yeah there we go all right turn on visuals bop am Day 35 of quarantine. Just recreated God in the basement. Y'all, those are the scientists who created Mewtwo. Yeah. Took a start. Okay. <laughs> I don't like dwarven music. Spotify. Far over the misty mountains cold to dungeons deep. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> Victor Frankenstein. I've created life, but I refuse to put any effort into helping that life develop. I won't teach him, love him, or defend him, even though I forced him into existence with a fully operational adult brain. Lol, peace, bitch. I'm eloquent, baby. He's not the victim. He's the monster. Yep. This sounds so uh, right. Wait, does it say it still say Skyrim? I thought I changed it. I thought I actually changed it to just chatting. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Hold on. Vex, you threw off my groove. Okay. He's, he's just, Vex is just trying to throw off my groove. Okay. All right. That's what I thought. Vex, how dare you? You've been shamed. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I want to know who spent a once in a lifetime event to take this horrifying, aesthetically pleasing picture. That is really, huh? Titles off. Tight. Wait, it is. Okay, hold on a second. To my managers. To my managers. Oh, it does say I'm giggling at Skyrim. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll fix this. I will fix. Goodness gracious. Just stare at the aesthetically pleasing Waffle House with lo-fi music while I fix this. Ugh. Ugh, late night. Oh, God, jeez, I need both hands. <laughs> Ignite Tumblr posts. Live. It's, no, no, correct it to tumble. The one time I need you to not make a typo. Oh my god. Okay, done. It's been successfully updated. I did it. All right. Okay. Moving on. All right. Moving on. Give her one. Give her a Cheeto to it. She, <laughs> this man. I didn't realize how terrified this man looked. <laughs> Just like, hey, yeah, okay, you can have a Cheeto, I'm sure. All right, okay. Uh, there was one at the bottom I really liked, but I didn't want to start with. Okay, here we go. It's a longy boy. It's a long boy. Today's problem. What do chairs for dragons look like? Big comfy pile of pillows. Well, that won't work in a scene I'm doing, It's but it's too cute not to draw. Oh, oh, look how precious this is. Okay. He's so cute. They use human chairs, but really badly. I love this. Oh, this is precious. Same. Wait, 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 wait. Elongated chairs, y'all. Eight chair legs instead of one. They can lie down majestically and put their chins on the table like they were always meant to. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is precious. All the all the artist names are there, but I'll say them back when we're done. I'm not sure if this is a silly or a good idea. 
And how many times do I have to tell you to not rest your chin on the dinner table? Mm, um, no one actually cares about that. Oh, precious. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> You're a, dra you're a dragon, man, you be jack shit, nothing. Excuse you, dragons are pillars of nobility and composure. You're a dragon, who's gonna stop you, hmm? The dragon politeness upkeep task force? I mean, other dragons are really the only ones dragons fear. Data dragon, he uses big comfy pile of pillows as chairs. Data dragon, he tries to use chairs for humans, but has trouble. Data dragon, he uses a log in chairs made just for dragons. Data dragon, who's a pillar of nobility and composure. And data dragon, who rests her chins on the table. I love this way too much to not reblog it. Okay, here's the solution. Giant beanbag chair. Oh, oh, look at him. He's so happy. I wonder what he's playing. Drawn in a separate post, but also the... Oh! Oh my god! I love IT Dragon! Oh, that's adorable! Okay. Shout out to Basculus Free. I believe he is. Yep, yeah, Basculus Free. Basculus Free has created all of these, I believe. Uh, they're all a gift to humanity. Bless them. Bless every single one of them. Okay. Escape. Oh, that was a long boy. That was a long boy. Okay. <laughs> God. Somebody at bit of trash for this, because this is perfect. Why is every male protag in a horror game called Ethan? They know what they did. Arguably the most ominous reply on any of my posts. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Amy. Amy, what did Ethan do? What did you do? <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Claw guy here. All right. Oh, this is precious. You think this one will fit? Bruce playing with the kids while the rest of the league asks the parents questions is everything. Oh, good boy, Batman. Good boy. All right. This one's not even a Tumblr post. This is some old as DeviantArt. It's from 2012. The fuck? This was put into my Tumblr thing today. Oh my god. Okay. All right. This is maze balls. Oh, maze balls. I can't get over that. I know. It's like a mixture of mothballs and Amazon. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. What? I, why? What the fuck is this? I don't want that. Divinar, how'd you sneak in here? Okay, pop first. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the bits. Today, therapy was really hard. I was sitting here crying and generally being miserable when I felt the nudge on my knee. I looked down to see that Zeus, my service dog, was doing his job and brought me a potato. It is very hard to cry with the gift of potato. And also that face. Look at that. Oh, this is adorable. Oh. Oh, look at the potato. Oh, mm, it's adorable. Okay. Uh, we did that one. Did that one. Um, questions. Perfect. 2020 captured on a single image. I feel like the private property sign just adds to the right amount of late stage capitalism. This image needs. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. It's fantastic. Ah, oh, what a gift. What a gift. <laughs> oh, oh, Dreadwolf. I'm glad you're doing, keeping any better. My mom actually had knee problems a while ago, so I'm glad you're taking care of yourself. All right. Moving on to this cursed ass curse clock. What is this shit? Who fixes a clock like this? This image is probably the most accurate visual representation of the United States education system. Where is the lie? Where is the lie? Where's the lie? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, is this? <laughs> I love this bumper sticker. How am I driving? How does engine even work? How can a loving God cause such agony? <laughs> nice. It's great. <laughs> This is literally me. Everything I've learned about Elon Musk has been completely against my will. 
Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh, we got, we got a Marvel one. Excellent work in the mission, man of spiders. Thor, no, the kid's only 15. Oh, right. And it's two mugs of beers. You are a growing boy. Thor. No. Big old move. Big old booty move. Flame Zero. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Oh, a lot of people followed. Okay. Sound off. Flame Zero. Nudie Kabooty. Uh, hold on. It's janking out on me. Nudie Kabooty. Super Dutchy. Uh, shit. It's moving too fast. Blocks and Galaxy. Aquas. John Saki. Super Dutchy. Lost Network. Madness King. Wolf of Ice. Casey Core. Ollie Redwalk. Marionette Pepper. Madness King. Mangle fan. Oh my god, thank you all for the follows. You're all precious. I love you. Okay. We're good. Okay. Did you know that bees sleep between eight to five hours a day, sometimes in flowers? Also, they like to sleep with other bees and all each other's feet. Ah, I'm literally a bow of the bees. Ah, oh. This is beautiful. This is another one to my mom. She's a beekeeper. Oh, that's a door. Oh. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey. Nice tits. This little birdie is the Korean crow tit, and it looks like a little fluffy cotton ball with tiny wings. Oh, look at that face. Look at his face. This is a proud little thick bird right here. Like, mm, look at me. I'm slaying. What a great name for it, too. Korean Crotet. I love it. Hey, the Sienna emotes work. Hooray. Oh, we got, we got a lot of cute ones today. Oh, man. I made these. One directly under. It's like, she made me first. It's true. It does. It's like, that's the proud duck right there. It's like, I came out first. Mm, let's see. Whoa. Guys. I found my aesthetic. Traffic lights in a fog. And on the next season of Stranger Things. <laughs> oh my God. This is fucking beautiful. Oh, I love everything about this. Nice. Okay. Mm. Oop. All right, your pile of fruit, Discord, Skype, Google Classroom, and other trusted services, schools, some shady ass application. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the shit right there. Ugh. Big old move. Seriously. Why the fuck are we using Zoom? Where the fuck did this thing come out of? Ugh. Oh, my God. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> you want to run that by me again? An error occurred while displaying the previous error. Where is your god now? Ah. Uh, uh, internet hug, of course. Everybody gets all the hugs. Precious. Don't change. Okay. Oh my god. Let's see. Something about hats. Okay. Oh, I've done this one, but it's extended. Okay. It's an extended version of this one. Witches and cowboys are the same entity, but just separated at night and day. Could you... Could you kindly elaborate on that, please? Why, certainly. Big silly hats. Dangerous or Wands and guns. Midnight. High noon. Robes and ponchos. Stockings with boots. Chaps with boots. Magic incantations. Yeehaws and slangs. Brew potions. Brews alcohol. Rides broom at night because the horse is sleeping and ride horses at day because the brooms are recharging and can't swim. Moonshine is also an alcoholic potion brewed by witches and cowboys. Moon to represent the witching hour and shine for the sunny high boys at noon. Rootin' tootin', toilin' shootin', fire burnin', cowboy bootin', eye of newt and spicy beans, toe of frog and denim jeans. Wow. What a gift that was. It was magical. It was beautiful. You'll never be quite like it. There's a lot more follows. Okay. 
Rex Kataki, Pastel Bunny, 4D Savage, Dark Wolf Gaming 58, badass name, Mr. Titanic, Pokemon Obsessed, Corrupt Vanguard, that one ghost of a deer. Cool. Thank you all for the follow. Love you. Okay, let's see here. Oh, oh, it's this bear. What is this bear? Okay, I saw this picture and, uh, uh oh, <laughs> someone put Celeste in the fire. <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> you forgot the fire truck. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Oh my god. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> Time to get spooky. Yes or hell yes. It's March. It's nearly October. Oh, it's still May. It's nearly October. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can do that better. Hold on. It's nearly October. Beautiful. Spooky hours time, baby. Okay. Me trying to spell something in French. Uh, I think that's enough vowels. The French language. You fool. You insolent coward. <laughs> it's not even French. I'm so sorry. Uh... Let's see. Uh, what is this one? I'm reading an essay called Male Male Desire in Pharaonic Egypt by Alex Caden, which is actually pretty good. I just need to draw attention to this little gem of pick. <laughs> oh my God. How beautiful are thy buttocks? Attention followers. You now know how to write nice ass in hieroglyphics. <laughs> All I ever wanted out of life, to be honest. Wow. Wow. I love this. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in so you all can learn this. This is how you say nice ass in hieroglyphics. Ugh, I can't even say words now. Hieroglyphic. Blah! Fuck it! How to write it in symbols. That. You got it? Okay. You got it. Alright. No, oh, it's the same one. Okay, um... <laughs> Who are you? I'm you, but paleontologically accurate. Oh, shit. That is actually more convincing for the Spinosaurus. I like it. I don't know what Jurassic Park was trying to do, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the chat's calling me out right now. Alright, Silos! I don't know how to say words. It's always Egyptian and Greek shit I always fuck up on. Uh, one time this dude was being stupid, so I said, you can't spell stupid without you. He got really angry and shouted, well, there's an eye, it's stupid too. And I just stared at him for a really long time. Wow. That's great. I love it. Uh, oh no, man. Eh. Okay, so... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to explain this as quick as I can because I don't want it, like the airtime to be about explaining how getting banned on my Discord works. I don't... Don't say stupid things. There's literally rules of things you shouldn't be saying, and that's, you know, just look into it. All right. This, that straight up is exactly what I expected Corvera to look like, to be honest. <laughs> that's the most goth shit I've ever seen. Wow, this bird is talented. Also, I want to buy his painting. I love it. I love it. Uh, if you go to my latest YouTube videos, uh, not the not the one for the announcement, obviously, but go to the next one, and there should be uh, a link to the Discord. I can't do it right now because I'm doing multiple things at once. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, welcome to motherfucking Applebee's. Do you want apples or bees? Uh, bees? He selected the bees! Wait! <laughs> Loki approaches them as he shakes the jar of bees. Why wasn't this a dead game? This would have been much better. This is probably why they couldn't fucking get Deadpool in, because this is the shit he'd be doing. Ah, uh, I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. The real reason vampires and ghosts wear those floor-length capes and robes is so they can hide the heels they wear all the time. 
<laughs> vampire gliding menacingly towards me. Me throwing gravel and twigs on the ground behind me so I can run. So I'll hopefully jam the wheels and eat shit. <laughs> vampire voice. Skate or die, mortal. <laughs> It's great. I love it. I need drawings of vampires and Haley's now for some reason. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. My favorite college experience when I had a 7 a.m. class and the kid next to me literally poured a monster energy drink into his coffee and said, I'm going to die and drank the whole thing. Pick an OTP. Imagine a meeting like this. Okay. No joke. I've done this. I think I have been this man. I don't think I said I'm going to die when I drank it. I think my words exactly when I said it to my uh, classmate next to me was, well, this is going to hurt. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, literally me. Okay. I guess we have enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open RP. Tell you what's the top story now. Oren, apparently. There's no time. This is your story. <laughs> Yoshi story. Perfect. Ever uh, flawless, flawless three panel story right there. Okay. Uh, Arthur. Okay. Hey, guess who won the ugliest costume contest at school today? <laughs> his own fam, his own family who wrecked his shit. <laughs> this was one of the greatest kids shows in the world. I fucking love it. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Um. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why are you saying oh no? There's a reason the condor wasn't there. Wouldn't you rather take their have on say sex? The pin. Oh no. Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> whoever they are, they parents now. <laughs> or, you know, they were a same sex couple, then I guess just surprise. I don't know. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> After extensive Googling, I can only conclude that the cause of my symptoms is that I have a body. <sighs> I knew it. Wow. If, if this is not a mood, I don't know what is. Ooh. Woof. Okay. Uh, this is a long one, so we'll try it. Give boys romantic physical affection. I don't even know how many guys I've been with to talk to that say they never had someone hold them or kiss their foreheads or play with their hair. I had a boy break down in front of me because I held him in my chest as he got sleepy and he hasn't had anyone hold him like that. This is not right. Boys deserve physical affection just like everyone else and not just in a sexual way. They deserve to be loved and cared for just like the ladies. Fellas, if she won't let you cry on her shoulders in a full embrace for hours and cathartic release of release of years of loneliness and trauma, she's not the one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm down. I'm down for that. Okay. Today I saw a cat who immediately and casually hissed at me on sight, but after I said that's rude, he meowed politely. I'm well, just trying out some noises. This is literally my cat. That's just piff. Just making noises for the second, making noises. All right. Whoa. For a second. Yeah, okay. I guess the post agrees with me. Lobster in a bucket looks like a gigantic monster on a metallic planet, and the water drops look like stars. That is transcendental. That's a. It's also a good aesthetic right there. I like that. I might have to draw that as reference one day. That looks cool. I forgot. I love this one. I think we did it in the last one. It was like, hey, guess what? I invented a new word. Plagiarism. Wait. Wait, hold up. What? Oh, my God. Oh. 
Guys, I really gotta stop Googling weird frog pictures before bed. This is not right. This is not right. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. It's not right. It's not right at all. Hold on. Hold on. Effect time. Effect time. Wait, 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 wait. Um, uh, 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 hey, stop. Okay. Oof. I found a new nightmare. Frogs with teeth. <laughs> Due to less air pollution, the latitudes and longitudes are now visible from the sky. Finally, we will never get lost. Even though latitude and longitude is a pretty dated distance coordinate thing. But at least now we can see them. Great. Okay, just heard my roommate yell, you used me from the living room. And I'm sitting there like, what? Two seconds later, my rat comes by running into my room, holding a French fry in his little baby mouth. I love it. Yay. It's adorable. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay. The human body is so fake like i'll be reading the news and it's like 25 year old woman free falls 1500 feet into 25 feet of snow found alive and uninjured and i'm absolutely reeling over that i don't even have the time to process it fully before i look at the next article 25 year old man falls into a shallow under pool dies instantly like our bodies literally have the durability predictability wow that's a tongue twister literally have the durability predictability of an iphone one time I misjudged how steep a hill was and proceeded to slide down the slope of a cliff for a full half minute and hit the bottom of the scaved. Then I tripped on the stairs on my way to see a Neon Genesis Evangelion and shattered my entire kneecap. <laughs> okay, we need effect. We have God Mode or One Hit KO. There is no in between. Perfect. That... Also, can we just shout out to the man with the great anime taste right there? Sacrifice their kneecap to go see a great show. Love it. All right. Are you a fisherman? Because I think you're a real catch. You spelled real wrong. Throw this one back into the water, boys. We got ourselves a city slicker. Woof. I got the joke. I thought it was funny. Um, Snape? Snape, Snape, that is Snape. Okay, look at this Snape I found. It seems normal, but then... What is this? Snape is bird? Snape is bird. I think Snape's a bird, guys. Oh, no. Snape's a bird. Turn, <laughs> Turn to page 394, motherfucker. I love it. <laughs> what the fuck? Snape bird. That's great. Okay. All right. We got a few more new people. Okay. Gree248, Marley VAA, hey! Uh, the Great Wool, Gold Bowtie, Strange Lace, on Tartar Sauce, Tech Head, Vicky, Jack Rabbit 101, Dongle Farts, perfect name, Sweet Peaches 27, Cracked Egg Boy, Vicky, Just Violent Crumble, Thingamajoe, I Need Professional Help, Mood, Kaylee M24, Little Princess Bubblegum, Rex Takataki, Welcome, thank you for the follow. All right. Shutting down properly. Shut down. User PC. Cradle it to sleep. Holding power off button for a long time. Shut down. Oh no, my God. That's dark. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be cruel. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Mood. Mood. Okay. Let's see. Oh, but we haven't done a goad one in a while. Seduce me with ridiculous history facts. Pineapples used to be so expensive that people would rent them for parties as prestige decoration. That's the shit, yeah. And then we started putting them on pineapple, on pizza. And good googly moogly, the world gone to shit. Alrighty. Oof, getting the sniffles. All right. I love fat cats that get picked up and look kind of alarmed, but as if their magnificent girth could not have prevented this sort of injustice. I think I've read this one on my show. How can they lift me when I am large? It's true. There's a big kitty. There's a big old kitty. Oh. My boy. 
my boy, my dude. I can't stop thinking about the turtle duck from Avatar. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, it's Tork. Oh my God, you're right. Tork, my dude. How you doing, buddy? I'm sorry you weren't free to play the two, but things happen. Okay, buddy. We'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? I'm dead. A fine gender indeed. All right, guys. Real talk. Who here also identifies as dead? Because uh, I'm about to throw my hand up right now. You can't see it, but my gender is definitely dead. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Turtle Duck of the Pool, what is your wisdom? Tur All right, hold on. I'll do a bit for you. Turtle Duck of the Pool, what is your wisdom? <laughs> so saith Turtle Duck. All right, moving on. Okay. All right. Uh, um, okay. Let's see here. The child of a mermaid and a centaur has a one in four chance of being a normal human. And at a one in four chance of being a seahorse. I'm glad that we remember our Pune squares. I don't think that's how you say it, but whatever. This is the stupidest thing I've ever made. Oh my God. Oh my god. So, I love it. I just love the human. That's a human person. Mm, yes, indeed. That's a punnet. Okay, it is punnet. All right. I'm sorry. I thought it was French. Bonnet. Or net. Panet. It's panet, isn't it? Okay. All righty. The visual gag in any piece of media was a giant vault door concealing a normal sized door in Portal 2. <laughs> oh, this is about Portal 2, okay. Actually, the best choke of all time period was in Portal 2 when GLaDOS says, well, this is the part where he kills us, and Wheatley falls off of, hello, this is the part where I kill you. And the chapter card pops up for chapter 9 saying, the part where he kills you. And then you unlock the achievement, the part where he kills you. And the achievement description reads, it, it, this is that part. Portal 2 is a fucking masterpiece. I love that game so much. Ah, oh, what a gift that game was. I missed it. I'm going to have to play it for the stream sometime. Oh, oh God, I'm laughing so hard. I'm actually getting the stifles. Oh, God. It's not the Ronies, I swear. I'm alive. Okay. <clears throat> An actual event I witnessed today. Middle-aged white woman drops coffee. Middle-aged white woman. Oh, man. That's, that's, how do they say it, Jim? That's my mood. That is my mood. Jim, text Connor. Ugh. Part of my soul just died. <laughs> okay, me approaching 30. I am 30 and I feel this in my bones. The dental assistant I saw today was delighted at me saying, don't half-ass anything. You gotta whole-ass it. Because she likes learning that youth the stuff to sling to her teenagers. So I taught her the proper usage of yeet and yot. And as I left the dentist office, I heard a distant yeet and then crashing sounds in the back. <sighs> the universal understanding of memes is that's what's going to bring our world together and we'll finally be at peace. We can soon put our generation's wars to rest. Woof. Woof. My God. Big old woof. All right. We're at the halfway point with this show. All right. I could already feel myself dying inside, but it's great. That's normally just how I feel every day. Not to imply Disney has any creative value, but where's the Muppet Avengers movie? Just like a watchable Avengers? And before you ask, yes, Kermit is Bruce Banner in this scenario. Loki's still Loki, and Kermit beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Does him hulking out involve him turning into an actual animal? No, only the visible change Kermit goes through is that he sticks angry felt eyebrows over his eyes. <laughs> That's my- hold on, oh shit. That's my secret cap. I'm always green. Okay. Alright. Somebody, 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 I beg you. I beg you. I think it's Devil Artemis who does this. 
please go see if he'll do this as Kermit. That would be great. Oh, God. What a fucking gift. <laughs> Mr. Sandman was playing his <laughs> Gindig's gas station, and the cashier and I both sang Man Me a Sand at the same fucking time without hesitation. Those people are best friends now. Those people are best friends. Oh my god. Okay. It's beautiful. Uh. <laughs> Come on and slam, and this is who I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Sing the parody, please. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> Mr. Sandman, man may ascend. Okay. Uh, I have one foot in the grave, but in a kind of fun and flirty way. That way, the way one might slip into a fishnet stocking. Are you fucking stupid? I mean, broadly, yeah, but what prompted you to ask? Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. I see people heading me lyrics. All right. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Sandman, man may ascend. Make him the cutest man car door hook hand. There you go. I did it. All right, Cinna. You have a safe drive back home. Have fun. Okay, astronaut, you missed quite a lot. Okay. Let's see. Uh... Fact 5067 for some reason. Japanese honeybees kill hornets by enclosing them in a ball of bees and then shaking so fast and generating so much heat that they cook the hornet at 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my god, it's true. Bad and naughty hornets get placed in the bee sphere for punishment. Damn. I want myself to be. I want an oven that does exactly what Japanese honeybees do. So I can always say my food is cooked with the power of bees. I need that in my life. So bad. <laughs> oh my God, I read that. Uh, first off, love the drawing. Love this. This is really beautiful looking. I'm here for you, my love. <laughs> Professor Utonium, getting it. Mm, Professor, my boy, my man. Good job. But, um, wow. I know I'm not supposed to like read ahead, but I made the mistake. Okay. This electrical socket has so many bees inside it, it's starting to leak honey. Oof. It's even attracted some ant friends. Okay. <laughs> Yo, know, as opposed to the normal amount of bees in any given electrical socket. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, okay, okay, first off. All right, first off. Going with my oven idea. The oven that cooks things like bees, now also plugged in to the power socket that is powered by bees. We're about to throw down here. Noble J Jazz! Hey, thank you for the host. It's been a long time, how you been? <clears throat> Jazz and I go way back. One of my first ever few days of being on YouTube. Fantastic actress. Uh, hydration break. Whew. Okay. They say it's a mystery how the pyramids were built, but I reckon they started at the bottom and worked their way up. Because let's face this, this looks a lot more difficult. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Never thought about this. Hey, Jazz, 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 Jazz. You stop that shit immediately. You stop it. You're great. One of the greatest, I guess, impressions I've ever heard. Love it. Okay. This honor list reminds me of a show on the History Channel where they spent 25 minutes wondering how all the sides of a pyramid seemed to be perfectly divisible by pi or something. And people were theorizing about aliens and some lost form of mathematics. But at the end of the... They interviewed... Okay. But then at the end, they interviewed a tired-looking paleontologist who was just like, maybe they just used a wheel to do all their measurements. And the whole show just immediately collapsed. Can you imagine being so far up in your own ass with conspiracy theories that you forget about circles? Oof. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I love this. Aesthetically pleasing. Ah, uh, but to be a water drop with googly eyes. Is this the new studio? Dude, if this was a new Studio Ghibli movie, I'd absolutely go see it. No questions asked. Look at that face. Look at that face. I'm sure Josh Gad would try to voice this thing. Like, I don't want to be seen as Olaf anymore. I want to be do boy. I want to be do boy. <laughs> I love my chat. They should have used Beast. I, I agree. All measurements in Beast. Okay. <laughs> the weather. Partly cloudy. Lightning. Dark. What? All right. Effect time. Tomorrow we enter the void. Yay. Okay. Uh, you PMZ more you want a snack? I am a little hungry. I could eat. Hi from Hey Laughing Burger. Welcome from Australia. Damn. Somewhere between fist ups and mm, every day. Ah, oh, and the eleven elusive. I'm mad, but whatever. More like I'm gonna fight you and I don't fucking care to be honest. It's perfect. Yeah. I do like this. This is literally me. This is how I feel sometimes on social media. I'm mad. But I don't know what to do about it, so fuck it. Okay. Wait, you bet you can't eat yourself. MP3. MP3. You smooth little biscuit. Okay. Let's see. Hey! I remember that scene from Hitchhikers. Imagine stabbing someone with this knife. Oof. It would instantly cauterize the wound so the person wouldn't bleed, so it's not very useful. If you want information, it is. And in the above order, we see a Gryffindor, a Ravenclaw, and a Slytherin. But why would you stab a person when you could have toast? Ah, there's the Hufflepuff. Oh my god. Uh, what's working for Jess like? I don't know, it's been seven months, so no opinion. Okay, moving on. What? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, nice. Jazz, good luck with the demo. I can't wait to see it. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Who is this? What is this man? What is this man? Are they legs? Legs with two G's? Are you a leg? I fucked. I fucking looked up eggs with legs and I'm just. Mm. Why are they in a cage? <laughs> Otherwise, they'll escape with the power of their legs. Okay, I'm getting out of this one before it's cursed. Or curse me. I feel like it's gonna like eat my soul or something. All right. I was walking in the forest during winter. I saw a wendigo sitting under a tree. I asked if it was going to kill me, and it said, "Hold on, I want to get the effect up." No, this is just a dream. So I sat next to it in the snow for a bit, and then he said, "The anger in your heart warns you now, but it will leave you cold in your grave." And then I woke up. Well, so much third eye fired walking fired fucking open. Oh, and I love that somebody actually. I want this. I want this as an actual embroidery in my life, please. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Whew. Tony Hawk is like fucking Perry the Platypus. Because if I saw him without a skateboard, I'd be like, oh man. And then the second he picks up a skateboard, I'd be like, Tony Hawk? This basically sums up all his tweets. <laughs> okay. I'm giggling for two reasons. One, I absolutely fucking agree. And two, I remembered the last time I tried to say Perry the Platypus on the show. And I said, Perry the Platypus. YouTube ate that shit up like cornflakes. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Shadow Teriyaki, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Friendly but undead, welcome. Shisistan, the king of gay 5000. Fox in a bottle. SGL Gaming. Darth Go Noodle. KA3B. Emil Nico. Uh, Love it. Welcome. Thank you all for the follow. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, I love piracy. As in stealing videos or stealing treasure. Yes, it is very dear to my heart. You wouldn't download a doubloon. <laughs> nice. 
Oh God, Doofenshmirtz. If I knew how to do, do the Doofenshmirtz voice, I'd absolutely say, ah, Tony the Hawk. That's like as close as I get. It's not raspy enough. <laughs> Could be worse. Jules Verne's already on his way back. Good thing Medusa was here to put a stop to that shit. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, fucking good. Isolated Jules. Isolated Jules words. Piece of garbage. Okay. All right. I know some of you joke about making Victor Hugo roll in his grave, but there are small cracks on his tomb in Pantheon, and I'm telling you, he's trying to get out. This is the single scariest post on this goddamn website. Let him come, but if he tries to write another word about the goddamn per <laughs> Parisian sewer system, I'll put him back in there. Oh! It follows up this one. I thought this was just a joke about our world right now. That, uh, you know, we have murder hornets, so there's a virus, but also Jules Verne's is on the way back. Oof. <laughs> Woof. Okay. I wish I had a super tight knit group of friends that I could fight crime with. And I wish I had a super tight knit group of friends I committed crimes with. I wish I had a super tight knit group of friends. I wish I had friends. I wish I could knit. <laughs> All right, Wolf Song, thank you for stopping by. Uh, luckily, like you're on the last 15 minutes, so. Oh! <gasps> baby. Look at that baby. Look at that. Look at that little legs. Oh my god. I've seen this. I've seen Beta Whooper make rounds, but I've never actually seen it up close. Oh, look at the little leggings. Oh my god. This. Literally this. I love him. I would die for this Whooper. Look at his little. Feet. Look how happy he is. He's like, mm, this is good. Oh my god. So precious. <clears throat> okay. I want to become a commercial guy so I can slip in subliminal messages in the chocolate ads like ooey, gooey, bloody, chocolatey goodness. Uh, you feeling all right? You need a therapist? I need blood, baby. Pucky. Pucky is like an ancient soul, which is weird to say because I'm pretty sure he's younger than me. Man ahead of his time. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. All right. Dog owner culture. Oh shit, hold on. Dog owner culture is. What well, one second? I can't fucking breathe. Give me. Dog owner culture is chasing your six month old husky puppy wandering around the yard in the dark in your underwear for 20 fucking minutes because she stole an avocado from the kitchen counter and you're afraid she'll choke on the pit. Fuck. Mood. Mood. Absolute mood with Mocha. Okay. Let me get you for some reason. It's cold in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. My entire life is an example of idiot plot. An idiot plot is any plot containing problems that would be solved instantly if all the characters were not idiots. Okay. Time to call out some shows right now that uh, have this problem. Uh, Friends, Seinfeld, even though it's near and dear to my heart. Community, uh, fucking Big Bang Theory. For a bunch of smart people, how are they all fucking idiots? This is, this is it. This is sitcom armor. This is sitcom armor right here. Nothing can be solved or gained because everybody's fucking stupid. Okay. Except like Bojack Horseman where everybody's problems can't be solved because they're all depressed and I like that. That's a good show. So that was school today. It was good until the Fire Nation attacked. Oof. Oh, yeah, Parks and Recs is another good example. They they made progress in that show, but yeah. Oof. Okay. Honestly, the mere fact that some people refer to Daddy Long Legs as Harvestman is creepier than 90% of all deliberately created horror, but, like, the worst part of them is that the alternative is calling them Daddy Long Legs. What are they harvesting? I'm haunted and vexed. And they're harvesting our sorrows because they're good boys and girls. They're good little spiders. I love them. I love when I see daddy long legs. Because there, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just weird looking, weird looking insects. Okay, we're down to the last nine minutes. All right. Let's do this. Crapping myself. I heard a dog bark today and I barked back and it re <laughs> replied the exact same way. And we both went back and forth until my friend told me that it was just my voice echoing and I've been barking by myself for five minutes straight. 
But who barked the first time? This is a very, very good question. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, can you hear me? There are better places to take a nap on the ground, you know. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? I hate this. I hate everything about this, and you all have to sit here and bask in it for a second. Because this is also basically just the fucking Fire Emblem Awakening opening. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Microblogism. Make that not. Make that not. Make that not. Okay. Mm, let's see. Hey, irrelevant. I want to know how likely it is that my children receive the gene for the gene for good warplay. I'll use a punnet square. La da 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 da. Okay. Uh, PMC more. I need personal D and D stories. Just actually write a sitcom D and D where everybody can't solve it because they're stupid. There you go. Everybody has an intelligence of one. All right. Oh, oh I love them. This is an albino owl. Look at him. Oh, he's adorable. He looks like QB, but his bird. Uh, is this a fairy? Whatever it is, it's clearly ancient and powerful. Also cute and fluffy. I need it. I need it in my life. It's babies. It's babies. Okay, I've apparently, I've infected my friends Amy and Andy with, with the way I say babies, because they actually saw baby. All right. So when I was doing my thesis on whether or not fan fiction should be considered a legitimate genre, uh, genre of literature, my advising professor asked for examples. I gave him the generic ones, of course. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is a horror fan fiction of Pride and Prejudice. Fifty Shades of Grey is an erotica fic of Twilight, and that seemed to make him understand what fan fiction is, but not how it's useful. So I thought about it, and after about a minute, I said, Paradise Lost is basically a fan fiction, fan fiction of the Book of Genesis, and the Divine Comedy is a s epic self-insertion fic for Catholic doctrine. So basically, you were teaching us fan fiction last semester. I had never before seen a grown man's eyes widen with such fear, incomprehension, disgust, awe, and understanding. My God. Wow. My life is different now. Uh, PM, make a stream together with Sienna's voice. I could probably do that if we're just doing things like this. Maybe. All right. Maybe, baby. All righty. You know what a green heron is. It's basically the best heron because it's like 90% neck. So when it's all folded down, it looks like a giant head with wings and legs. But then suddenly, zoop! Wow. That's a long bird right there. Wow. I'm gonna go, hang on. I almost want this in gift form. Like, beautiful. Zoomy bird. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> what is a baby worm called? There is no term for baby worm. It is just called worm. Make me sad. I'm calling them squiglets. I love it. Baby worm to now squiglets. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Animal Crossing memes. Okay. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> oh, Rush Hour bloopers. This is the cutest thing. Jackie Chan is so innocent. Majority of his bloopers anywhere are mainly him messing up his lines because English is like his third language. But he's also a cutie patootie. I mean, look at his face. It's very blurred out and distorted right now. But that that's a that is, that is an adorable man. Okay. I have a really hot waiter. Guys, he came back with my food. He said, careful, the plate is hot too. So I asked too. And then he touched my shoulder, then made a sizzling noise. I'm freaking out. What do I do? Him. <laughs> Hold his hand. Do it. Hold that man's hand right now. Do it out of wedlock. Hold his hand. Do it. Beautiful. <laughs> Rides in the battle on a gym class butt scooter. <laughs> Runs over fingers. Fuck abort mission. Abort fuck you great mission. God damn it. <laughs> I miss these. I miss these so much. Oh, I love these little adorable butt scooters. Did they even have a name? 
just we're really just, we just call them scooters because we were like five. Oh my god. Bro scented pencils by Nyan Squido. The age like fine wine, the longer you leave them in plastic prisons. And the better the scent, I occasionally sniff one after one or two years in the case, and I'm like, woof! So good. Um Oh, it's I misread this. I thought Nyan Squidos was about to actually like present bro scented pencils. Like like they were actually gonna be scented like bros. I was like, Nyan? You okay with this conversation here? You all right? You to call somebody? But they were talking about like, bro, scented pencils. That makes way more sense. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the one we're going to end things on because it's cursed. Since Delta Rune is an anagram of Undertale, we can expect great names such as Tundra Eel, Alert Nude, Nut Dealer, Unrelated, Rental Do, Unreal Ted, Neuter Lad, Rule Neat, Elder Ant, Ultra Need, Dart Reel, Tuna Elder, an Eel Turd, You a Nerdlet, and Andre Let You. And tag yourself. I feel I am, I am Unreal Ted. I personally feel like I'm an Unreal Ted. And that went much shorter than I intended. So let's do, let's find, let's find a few more, let's find a few more. Okay. Okay. Someone teach me how to draw bars like this. I am a gay man, unfortunately, but this is still very sweet. Oh. Oh, that's precious. This is adorable. We gotta work on our terms, but that's adorable. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Considering how many Sander sides I get, this is fucking irrelevant. Oh, shit, here we go again. All right, one more. We got time for one more, one more. Let's find a good one. <clears throat> there we go, Terry Potter. A group of Slytherin students camping outside the common room because the password is something bigoted and they refuse to say it. A group of Slytherin students having a sleepover in the Hufflepuff dormitory because the Hufflepuffs found out. A group of Ravenclaw students trying to magically change the door's password when the Hufflepuffs tell them. And a group, group of Gryffindors trying to forcibly remove the door when they finally find out. And a group of teachers investigating to find out who set the password in the first place and evicting them from the school by any means necessary because they've had enough of this Slytherin is the evil house bullcrap. I need this short story right now in my life. I need an animation. I need a story. This is fucking good. This is some good shit right here. Mwah. 10 out of 10. Would absolutely read this story. Okay. <clears throat> Well, this has been delightful. We are going to end it on that one. Uh, hide this. It's gone. It's vanished. I kicked Tumblr out of existence. No longer exists here. But yeah, this has been delightful. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said at the beginning, we will be trying to do this every Saturday. And hopefully we can because Tumblr seems to be a never ending gold mine of content. Thank you all so much for watching. I will be back on Tuesday to continue your Skyrim adventures, and hopefully I will see majority of you there. Bye!